Shalom. Right, Shalom. We the brothers from the SF Barry camp doing the in-transit lesson on our way to the battlefield to teach the words of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Shai. But first and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakwakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone taught us the truth. I'm the brother Manatzak, and I got with me Shamar. I'm the brother Yariyala. Yeah, and today we just want to bring to you a lesson on the, the, the fight that we in being in this truth, you know? Being in this faith, believing in Yahweh Bashim Shai comes with what? A battle. We're, we're, um, we're, we're, we're spiritual warriors being built up in the faith. And it's not a physical fight. We can't put on physical uh, boxing gloves and go toe to toe. Or with, with these spirits, because we got to realize, pursuing the Job 9.24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now we know the physical counterpart of the wicked is Esau, the so-called white man, but he is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan on the earth. So the demons that uh, control um, this world work directly through him, and he pushes his ways via his witchcraft on these people. So the fight that we're in in this truth is not physical, it's a spiritual fight. It, every day is a, it's a battle. And that's why the Lord gave us our tools to fight this fight, which is the armor, which is the word. And we're going to get into some scriptures on the, the fight that we're in in this truth. Got it. Got it. Yeah, uh, I, got a, I got a precept real fast, since you mentioned that. It's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 10, I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Yeah, so we walk... We physically are spirits, fourth dimensional beings in third dimensional bodies. So we're experiencing life from a third dimensional perspective. So we walk in this flesh. We're actually in the flesh on the earth, you know? We're in, we're in terrestrial bodies. Continue. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So we don't war after the, after the flesh because we know it's a spiritual fight. Continue. Verse 4, for the weapons of our... our for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most side to the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh, but spiritual. Mm -hmm. To the for the pulling down of stronghold, which is what us using our armor, which is this word. The scriptures refer to the word of the words of the most high as a, as a um, two-edged sword, piercing uh, even um, piercing the soul and the spirit. You know, right. so we it's not a physical fight. It's not a, a fight. That we're going through where we can physically punch a demon. Mm -hmm. It's spiritual. Your boss may come against you. That's Satan on your boss. Yep. Your woman may come against you. Even sometimes your children come against you. Different things are happening in, the, in this world that we can't physically see to what? Throw you off your course. Because these demons recognize that we're on a path to um, salvation. And their whole goal is to get you off that path. And that's the fight that Yahweh Shemal Shai put us in. And that's been the fight since the beginning. You know, when, when Eve brought sea, uh, sin unto Adam, and the scriptures say man has become like one of us knowing good and evil, we were in that fight to, to overcome the flesh, to overcome Satan. You got it out? That's right. Yeah, I, I looked up the word, um, the word uh, strongholds uh, real fast. Let me see what it, what it says. PG 3794, Ahorama. Ahorama. Yes, Ahorama. And it says, a castle, stronghold, fortress, fastness, anything on which one relies of the arguments and reasonings by which a disputant endeavors to fortify his opinion and defend it against his opponent. You know, because because really with all these uh, with all these demons out here, you know, all these lies. OK, all these spirits out here, everybody, everybody feeds into um into into some it's something on the left hand side pretty much okay there's like it's uh like like it says like like the world says there's many lies but there's only one one truth all right well like the scripture says as well okay you know and, and which we're we're battling we're uh <clears throat> we're battling these spirits because it's, it's a spiritual battle all right and ultimately what we're battling all opposition which is which is uh Satan because Satan is is uh, which means the adversary. So we're battling all opposition uh, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we're casting down these demons pretty much. You know, uh, I'll hop back into it. 
it says um, 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the, through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai and, and having a readiness and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled you know because really the, uh, uh, all these like the brothers going into all these people have similar demons on them all right that's why they that's why they they do they do uh, uh, sim they, they, uh they carry themselves in similar ways they, they perform themselves in, in, in different acts all right like adultery like murder like sodomy okay all those are are, are actual demons that these people have on them and what those same demons attempt to cleave on to the men of the Lord that's why what you have you have certain demonic thoughts in it and they're not your thoughts they're demons all right yeah well we, we pull those we pull those uh we defeat and uh we defeat those demons through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai ultimately through this word you know that's that's the, that's what the fight is. Yeah, the Satan enters into your mind, mm -hmm. and you don't give in to those thoughts. You rebuke those thoughts. That's right. By what? Fighting it with the word, mm -hmm. cutting it with the sword. We can get that in Matthew the fourth chapter too, because Yahweh Shai yep. went Spirit. through the battle too. You know what? Good. What, what better example than our Lord and Savior over two thousand years ago, when he was fasting for forty days, he was afterwards in hunger. When he was at his weakest point, Satan came to um, tempt him, mm -hmm. but he fought Satan with the word, and that's the fight we in. It's like. You get all types of thoughts that uh, bring you, to, that, that uh, entice you to bring you to the left hand side, which yep. is Esau's witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You know, all these uh, dating sites, these uh, pr promoting adultery. You know, yep. all these. Um, pretty much the whole world is set up for you to be drawn into the left hand side. That's, That's right. Priesthood. You got it out. This is uh, Sirach 33 and 14. It says, "Good is set against evil." And life against death uh -huh. and that's basically what it is like you was going into you got all these different spirits enticing you you know we, we're uh, we're the righteous you know but you got these evil spirits trying to entice you the people in the world they try to entice you into wickedness it is, it's two it's one against the other you know good against evil because and then if you if you do take heed to those those um, enticing seducing spirits what is it? What's the what's the uh, the ending of that path? That if you go that way, it's death. Uh -huh. But if you resist it and don't take heed to that, it's life. If you stay in the spirit, it says, "Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. And that's exactly what it is. And that's why these people in the world." That's why they don't like like a lot of people that don't like you for no reason. You know, you don't even do anything to them. They might just have an evil eye towards you or something. It's just it's those evil spirits that they have on them that hate you because you have the righteous spirit on you and those demons they can see it and they know it. It's not even that person. Like it's been instances where brothers be out and then somebody get a demon that jump on them and then they'll be an asshole to you for no reason and then you don't even feed back the same negative energy. You just you know keep your composure and all. Then they realize they were being a demon, and they'll end up apologizing because uh -huh. they really these people really have spirits on them. It's just like you said, this thing, the spiritual world is very much real, and the top elites that run this earth, they know it. They know how this, how this, how the Most High created this world to work, and their whole goal is to get everybody to um, be involved in their in their, their left hand side witchcraft. You know? So these demons, they know who we are. They reckon that's like like brother was saying, you may be out just going to get something to eat. The waiter was extremely rude to you. You may be getting some gas. Somebody else pull up next to you, mugging the shit out you. These demons can see your the light because we we pretty much are, are vessels of light in the world that's covered in darkness. If your eyes open to the spiritual world, you can see that the armor is on us. The heavenly Father's angels are with us, and we have the light of Yahweh Shemal Shai in the world covered in darkness. And demons hate the light, you know. Uh, you got it now. Yeah, this is uh, St. Matthew. I'll start at the top, verse four, uh, chapter 4, verse 1. Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. Yeah, so pretty much Yahweh Shai was, um, he was fasting, you know, which is a, a form of detox in itself, you know, yep. getting his body and his, his, his spirit right, you know, mm -hmm. which is a very important thing to do in this truth, you know, to, uh, to cleanse yourself. Because we all are in the flesh. We all are susceptible to getting demons on us. 
We yeah. all have had de- we all have had demons on us and have demons on us. That's we're gonna have, be in this fight until the Yahweh Shai delivers us and we receive them new bodies. But the thing is to rebuke them demons and get them off you, you know. And it yeah. comes with um, prayer, fasting. You got it out. Yeah. I'm not- yeah. You can go. Ahead. You can finish your point. Huh? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, but pretty much, um, just like just like the parable goes into how when we all was in the world, we had demons on us, you know. So what coming into this truth, we're we're cleansed through the word, through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yet that those same demons are always lurking and seeking to enter back into our into our uh, that house, which is your your body, abode, our temple. All right. So we're we're constantly always being being uh, uh, tempted and um, um, pretty much attacked by uh, by the demons that once that once inhabited us. Okay. You know, certain brothers were uh, 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 you know smoked. Okay committed adultery, murder, whatever, okay, in the world, yet we may clean, clean through this word, yet those same demons are always around. They ain't go nowhere. They just, they just were casted out of us. So what, uh, 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 that's, a, that's even, a, that's even more of a testament to our, uh, to our fight. You know, you have that same, you have that same demon or a, or a brand new demon, uh, 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 uh attacking you, you know, or, or, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, plaguing you, all right, through, throughout your walk. You know, I had a quick yeah. piece of what you were saying, straight to the point. It's Luke 20, 22 and 31. And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, mm-hmm. behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as weak. Yeah, because you got to go back to the um, to the parable. Well, not the parable to uh, which is an allegory. Uh, the book of Job, you know, the bet that Yahweh had with uh, with Satan. All right. You know, because because um, um, Job was an upright man, one that feared the most high, you know. Just like, just like us, the men of the Lord, from our apostles and elders on down. See, see, we separate ourselves. We separate ourselves from the, uh, from the ways and the wickedness of this world. All right, we walk, we walk on that straight, narrow path, man. Yet, us not being a part of this wicked party, it makes us more the, uh, the eyeball. It makes us more, more desirable, because what Satan already has these people. Satan already has two thirds. Okay, he's completely conquered and consumed them. All right. His thing is what the, uh, the elect, the men of the Lord, those who are not uh, uh, being overtaken by by his his wicked presence, his wicked spirit. You know. I got I got a precept um, because ultimately, like you was getting into the book of Job, when the um, the Lord and Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, had a bet in the heavens that um, Job would curse the Most High to to his face. You know, mm-hmm. so pretty much the Lord is the one that controls. These demons, whether they plague you or not, yep. Because he's the one that's putting us in the fight. This is um, and approve that. This is Psalms chapter seventy-eight, verse forty-nine. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Yeah. So demons are really just angels on the left hand side. Mm-hmm. An angel meaning messenger. And they, they um, get inside the minds of these people to cause them to go off and be wicked so they can receive judgment. Oh, I got a precept on that. Which it goes back to Romans, the first chapter, when it speaks about um, the Lord has given them over to a reprobate mind. Mm-hmm. Because yes. he's the one um, that can bring. Because ultimately, the, 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 the fact of the matter is none of us are of our own will. Either you have spirits on the right hand side on you or spirits on the left hand side on you. See, us in this truth, we have this Rukalk with Dash, which is the Hebrew for Holy Spirit, which is the right hand spirit, which which works on our minds to, t- to teach this word, you know, to, to uh, meditate, to study, you know. So everybody is controlled. Either you can control on uh, either you control by the most side on the on the right hand side or on the left hand side, you know, which the left hand side is gonna be led to the, what death. Ultimately the nuclear missiles, you know. Yeah. So, you got it out. No, 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 my bad, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Now I had a precept backing up what you just said about the Lord sending those spirits. Because the Lord is the Father of Spirits, so He control both sides of the scale. Just like it goes into the Romans the ninth chapter, who who has resisted His will? Because the ultimate, uh, it's it's uh, uh, you have these spirits coming in what in a, um, a physical counterpart. You know, it's like we represent the right the right hand side, the righteous spirits, and Esau ultimately uh, uh, represents the wicked spirits. You know, all right, the left hand side ultimately. You know, he's the physical counterpart of Satan. But this is um, uh, Isaiah 19 and 14. It says, The Lord Yahweh have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, 
and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his, in his vomit. Yeah, and that's what Most High has done in America. It's, it's a very perverse spirit in the land, in the short, really the whole planet Earth. Right? Yeah. It, the main um, focus is America. That's why the scriptures say they have all the nations have drunk in the wine and the wrath for fornication, which is taking on the ways which of these demons. Yep. You know, exalting a woman over the man. That's actually a demon to get on um, a woman to think that she's above a man. Yep. It's an actual demon on, on these people to do the things they do. For for actual man to uh, be physically attracted to uh, another man, that's an evil spirit that's on on that person to to, to, to draw them to that um, way of life, which is going to lead them to death. Right. But the the thing is, the Most High gave his nation, the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans, a way out of that uh, way of death, which is what repenting, yep. casting off them demons, getting them off you, and coming back. Mm -hmm. Like back in the ancient world, we, well, you would go off. And if, if it was a sin unto death, you would but, but be killed. You put the death in, what the what would the Lord say? That ye shall put away evil from Israel, cause so them demons won't spread, because demons are all about multiplying. Yep. They're getting on somebody and then causing their ways to be put on you, and now the demons on you, and it spreads. And that's what the so-called white man has done. He's, he spread his ways throughout the earth. But we have come out of those ways of wickedness, you know? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah, we coming back to righteousness. Doing what the Most High wants us to do. A certain way we eat, you know, back in the world we ate all types of abominable foods, which are which are ultimately demons. Putting demons on us, we, so we put off that. We don't eat pork no more, or shrimp or crab or whatever Jake ate in the world, you know? And that's just a, one example. There's various other examples of men throughout the four corners of the earth that put off the ways of this, this, this wickedness. You got it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump back to uh, St. Matthew chapter 4, verse 2. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. So the tempter is talking about Satan. Yeah. The spiritual demon Satan did physically walk up to Yahweh This was a mental fight he was going through. Satan came to Yahweh in his mind and, and, and plaguing him, you know? The same way we, it comes to us, it happened, because Yahweh the scriptures say he was made a little lower than the angels, lesser than the angels, so he was put in, um, in sinful flesh. Yep. So he had to, to, to overcome the fight just like we had to overcome the fight, except in his walk, he didn't give over to the, um, to the uh, flesh. He was the only man to walk perfectly when he came back to Yahweh Shai in the spirit, he never sinned, you know? Uh, you know, the, script, the scriptures that speak, on, that speak about the trial of your faith. Uh -huh. And that's what it is. When those left-hand spirits come in your mind, that's the trial of your faith. You know, that's testing you. What are you, you going to do, you know? Are you going to take heed to it? Or are you going to discern that that's the evil spirit and rebuke it and not take heed? You know, that's, that's, it's, always, it's always a choice at the end of the day. Just like the uh, Most High said, Behold, this day I put before you life and death, you know? The, those, these spirits that come at you, they're trying to present you with death, but if you actually take heed to them, that's when, that's when it's going to manifest and, and it happens, actually. You know? It comes with the demons enticing you with the pleasures of the flesh, you know? Yep, yep. Pleasing your flesh. You know? It, it don't necessarily have to be, oh, you dealing with um, committing adultery or doing unlawful sexual acts. It could be anything. Overeating. Yep, yep. You overeating yourself to death, you know? You, you um, doing things in the flesh that's not helping you elevate the spirit, you know? That's that, and that's when you gotta be able to, to discern, when, like the scriptures say, examine thyself, yep. whether that be in the faith. You gotta sit back and analyze and look over your life and see, uh, are these demons causing you to um, go off the path of righteousness, you know? Right. And if, you, if they are, you gotta sit down, correct yourself, and get on that path, you know? That's what, and that's what the Akim is here for, to lift each other up. Because we all in this in this fight. We all fight. And certain certain brothers, you know, have been given more uh, me more measures of faith than other brothers to help other brothers get on that level. To build each other up. Because it, it's a, it's all because we all in this fight. And we the only way we're gonna overcome this fight is if we endure to the end and Yahweh Shai delivers us into them what? The new superhuman extraterrestrial bodies with the heart of flesh, which can't sin. And that's the day when we overcome the fight. But until then, it's a constant fight. You got to build your armor up. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, 
Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. So Yahweh Shai fought the spiritual demon Satan with the word. Yep. And that show you that Satan know the word too. Yep. Because he's coming at Yahweh Shai with the word. Yeah. The, uh, the scriptures say, uh, uh, marvel not, Satan has uh, transformed himself into an angel of light. Because he is an angel, he's just an angel on the left hand side. Uh -huh. So he knows the scriptures. He know he knows he knows the angles to uh, to uh, to hit you with, to yep. deceive you, to trap you up, to make so, it sound justified. Yeah, that's why it's important for for, for us to know the scriptures. <clears throat> All right, because because you can a hey, Satan can hit you with a with a wicked ass uh, uh, a wicked ass um, understanding of the precepts, and then just uh, to justify you going off. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah. It is right. It is. It is there. It is right there. It does mean that. The whole time, that that's not what the understanding means. That's just Satan deceiving you and, and perverting the scriptures just to get you to go off. You know? Uh, it says, uh, verse 5, Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set of him on a pinnacle of the, of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. You know, so a reprobate hearing that, he's like, yeah, that, that is written, that is true. Let me, let me leap. All right, you know, but get, well, let's see what Yahweh Shai said. All right, verse seven, Yahweh Shai said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. You know, so he cut, he cut Satan, man, you're supposed to be tempting the Lord. You know. It says, verse 8, Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. You know, so Yahweh Shai saw, saw all the kingdoms, especially this this filthy one right here, the last the last, uh, uh, the last wicked kingdom uh, 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 to rule, man. Uh -huh. You know, all a part of uh, uh, that, that temptation. Just like what Esau do. He'll show you, he'll show you the... Uh, He'll show you the money. He'll show you the cars. He'll show you the uh, the so-called luxurious uh, sides of, of um, experiences of this wicked world, man. All, all for what? For you to um. Well, uh, oh, what's well, gonna say? It. It's again the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and show of him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and say unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Yeah, so ultimately, you 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 worshiping Esau, you worshiping the spiritual demon Satan, man. You know, you 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 uh, uh you bowing down to uh, to him rather than Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, and, and that's that's the crazy part because Yahweh Shai created created everything, yeah. created Satan. You know, the the audacity. You know, you know, audacity because Yahweh Shai knew I'm, I'm gonna get the glory. Of the, the world Earth was created for my sakes anyway. Yeah, shit, I, he, shit, he created the Earth. Exactly. You no, know? but that's just the fight. That that's an example of the fight mm -hmm. that you, that we're in. Satan is gonna come at you with things that uh, no, he knows are, are your weakness because your your weakness per se may not be a weakness that another brother has. Uh -huh. Every brother has a different individual weakness that they're dealing with, and Satan knows that. And that's the fight that the, that was given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So we are overcoming this fight through the through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because there's nothing we can do of our own will. Mm -hmm. And that's where the prayer comes in, you know. That's right. You got it out. It says, um, then you, then saith Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee uh, hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Yeah, so at the, at the Satan fled, because he rebuked Satan, what, what happened? The Lord sent, um, Yahweh sent angels to minister unto him, you know, mm -hmm. to build him build him up, build his spirit up, you know, because he was um, he was in a fight. Yeah, that's right. He was fasting, you know. He was physically weak, yet uh, uh, the, that spirit, you know, the spirit was, um, um, was strong, uh -huh. you know. Uh, brother, get Ephesians. Yeah, I got it. Chapter. I got it, sir. Okay. Uh, this is Ephesians six and ten. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. So be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. We serve the Creator of the everything. The how about Shem I was shot. You know, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. We got the truth. So be strong in, in, in the knowledge that you've received. You know. That's right. Don't faint. Don't get weak. This is it. This is the um. This is it. There is no. 
nothing higher than what we're in. You know, this is the truth. You got it out. Yeah, that's right. And like it says in James, the first chapter, if you if you lack any 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 wisdom, all right, or any any uh, uh, physical strengths, I mean, it's like your spiritual strengths. You know, like like the brothers uh, going into certain brothers are, are stronger and weaker in different in different uh, uh, categories. Okay, so so with you um, um, examining yourself, you acknowledge your strengths and your weaknesses. So so if you see things that you're that you're weak at that you need strengthening, then that's when that's when prayer, that's when fasting towards your help, Hashem uh kicks in. You know to strengthen you in those in those places where you where you're weaker at, where you're lacking at. You know to help to help you endure in this battle. It says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. And that's what with the fight we're in, we're fighting the wiles of the devil. So in order for you to overcome that, you got to put on the armor, which is this word. Mm -hmm. You know, this knowledge has to be in, in your mind. That's right. Which is your, your protection. And that's... We get how Shai did when he fought Satan. He had the knowledge in him to, to combat them, them demons. Yep. And that's, that's the precept where it goes back to Isaiah 33 and 6 when it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall yep. be the stability of thy time. Because ultimately, these demons are on these people, causing them to, to irritate us. But it's going to get to a point the Lord is going to give them the order to physically come, physically harm us. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that's right. Which, mm -hmm. And that's when the, when the real battle, uh, these scriptures got to be in you, you know? Yep. You know, certain brothers are going to be uh, taken to concentration camps. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, John the Revelator seeing certain brothers' um, um, heads being chopped off, being martyrs for this truth because what? Uh, 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 for for um, um, denying to take the R3 microchip, which is indeed the mark of the beast. Because that's going to be the ultimate our temptation, as it says in Revelation, man. That's going to be the ultimate uh, uh, trial of our faith. And really, the, everybody's faith in the world. You know, two-thirds, all right? Everybody's gonna be presented with that uh, with that trip with that chip, so-called life or death in the in the eyes of Esau, man. Yeah. You know, it says um, verse twelve: For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. So it's not a physical fight. Mm -hmm. We don't wrestle against. Uh, uh, I can't put on some boxing gloves and get in the ring. Oh, that's the demon who beat the shit out of this motherfucker. It's a it's a fit, it's a um, spiritual fight. You know, we can't. I can't see. Physically into the fourth dimension, but we know it's all around us and that your mindset has to be there that this fight is Spiritual, you know mm -hmm. And you got the tools to, to be in this fight which is the word the scriptures in Different situations, you know the scriptures say be slow to anger demons try to cause you to somebody cut you off in traffic or something You fuck you motherfucker. You throwing a finger up you losing your composure the demon one, you know Are you, you you out you out and about somebody to test you? I mean there is there is different you ain't there's different um, ways to handle different situations, but if you see a situation where you can de-escalate it, then, then use wisdom, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's part of having this knowledge in you is to um, to overcome these these uh, this fight. Them demons want to get you to be carnal, and by you getting carnal, get you what to, to be uh, to bring judgment. Yep. You get carnal now, you're getting locked up, you know. Or uh, possibly it could lead to you being put to death, you know. You got it not. Yeah, I got a quick precept, Sean, because Paul Paul talked about that, man. Yeah, this is a, a a spiritual a spiritual battle, you know, a spiritual fight. All right, a spiritual race. It's uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter nine. Um, I'm gonna start at verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things, which pretty much means to be balanced in all things. That's what we're, we're learning. We're learning to be uh, uh, content with all things, you know, in which this world, it teaches you, it teaches you disorder, disobedience, and, and unbalance. It says, um, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, which is ultimately what? Eternal life, you know? With the uh, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai promised his uh, his faithful servants, you know, if they endure to the end, being crowned by Yahweh Shai himself, all right, uh, 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 and um, um, entering into the kingdom, everlasting uh, everlasting life and dominion, you know, the the works that is, that's not gonna it's not gonna pass away because as the scriptures say, this world is is, is gonna pass away. This world is temporal, but the world to come is forever, man. I therefore. Uh, 
I therefore so run, not as uncertainty. We know what we're we know where we're heading towards. We know what we're we're running towards. All right, we're persuaded in our own minds. You know, we know exactly what's going on. Okay, it says. So fight I, not as one that beat up the air. Yeah, we're not shadow boxing. You can't, you can't fight these demons. You can't fight the spiritual demon Satan. Like just grab them, you know, because this is the spiritual battle. All right. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, which means to be placed under under rule. Least that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Yeah, it's like the brother's going into, you know, uh, can say his whole thing is to what to agitate your spirit. All right, to the point of over overthrow. You know, to sift you, to get you, to get you to bug out, man. All right, to get you to go off, okay, and ultimately to get to, to have what judgment being brought down upon you, to knock your crown off your head. That's why it says in Revelation to what hold fast to what you have already. Let nobody take your, let no man take your crown. All right, I'm gonna go back to uh, Ephesians. You know, this is a back in Ephesians six, and I'm gonna go back to verse twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. You know, yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, you got to take on the whole armor of the Most High, that she may be able to withstand in, in the evil day. Meaning when um, all hell breaks loose. Yep. When when it when it's martial law, when ultimately when the Lord brings Jacob's trouble, we we, we will be able to stand and be able to make it through these um, troubling times mm -hmm. by having this armor completely on. That's right. You got it up. Verse fourteen. Stand therefore, having your loins girt with, uh, about with truth, mm -hmm. and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh -huh. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Above all, above all the armor, you can lose all your armor, but above that, taking the shield of faith. What is a shield? That's your protection. That's something that um, your guard, yep. your defense, because you can lose your weapon, um, all your armor in the battle, but you still, if you have your shield, you still can protect yourself from getting hit. Mm -hmm. You know, you can use that as a covering for your head. You know. And, and you can use it as a weapon as well, uh -huh. you know. So it says, above all, the shield of faith. So it's all about belief. Yeah. Now we know, according to a, what's that, Ephesians 2 and, um, two and 8, two and eight mm -hmm. that faith is a gift from, the, from Yahweh B'Shem al -Shai. So pray to Yahweh B'Shem al -Shai to increase your faith, you know. Yep. You got it up. That's right. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So we're going to quench Satan's uh, darts by what? Having the shield, the armor on it, which is the faith, yep. you know, and ultimately the highest level of faith, because the armor is gonna lead um, lead up to certain brothers getting that uh, um, that power. Mm -hmm. If you can give me Isaiah 59 and start a little bit up before 19, because it gets into the um, the armor. Yeah, this is um, Isaiah 59. Uh, uh, you can start at uh, 17. Yep. Isaiah 59, 17, for he put on righteousness as a breastplate uh -huh. and a helmet of salvation upon his head. Which is that armor. Mm -hmm. You have to have this armor fully on you, which is the knowledge, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Continue. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing uh -huh. and was clad with, with zeal as a cloak. You know, uh, according to their deeds, according, accordingly he will repay Fury of his, fury of his, uh, fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. Uh -huh. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. So in the evil day, ultimately when these demons get on Esau to come with that full wrath, like the scriptures say in the Apocrypha, um, 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, they're going to be like madmen sparing none. So the Most High is going to put a, a deaf angel spirit on Esau to come at the men of the Lord. But that's when this going to kick in. Continue. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. So when Esau comes in with the stormtroopers like a flood. Continue. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that standard is with divine intervention, with spiritual power. So that's part of having this armor on is knowing that the Lord is going to use uh, certain men to be a defense. You know, brothers are going to be endowed with that spiritual power, which that's what Paul had. Paul had spiritual power. He's able to heal people. 
John the um John the um um well what's his name? Um Elijah. Yeah, Elijah. Elijah which that was John the Baptist, yep. you know, in the reincarnation. He had spiritual power, he was able to smite the captain in his fifty. You know? Yeah, Yah- Yahweh himself has spiritual yeah. power, you know? Yeah. So ultimately, this, this faith that we're building up, this armor, is ultimately to fight that these demons, but it's going to lead to certain men having that power, you know? Mm-hmm. You got it out? Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah, that, that, was, that was the point, and I can go back to Ephesians. Okay. This is um, back in Ephesians chapter 6, um, verse 16 again. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith where, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Yep, so that's how you fight, because the Lord didn't throw us in this battle um, defenseless. He yeah. gave us the tools to fight, that's to right. swing at these demons. And that's why demons get cut the fuck up when we at camp, you know? Mm-hmm. They get uh, fi- highly offended off the word, because the word is sharp and pierced. It's, it's like a two-edged sword piercing the spirit. Mm-hmm. So the Lord gave us the tools to fight, which is his word. You got it? Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Praying always. So you got to pray. Call on your how by Shema Shai. Ask and beg the Lord for whatever you need, whatever you lacking. You know? You got it? And watching there unto with all preservation and supplication for all the saints. Uh, for all saints. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the point, unless you want me to continue. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the point, you know? So you know we in a, we in a, um, a spiritual fight. So your armor got to be on. We, we're approaching the evil day. Mm-hmm. We're approaching that time of Jacob's trouble. We're approaching the time where Esau's coming with wrath like never before. So now it's time for Jake, our our, our nation, the believers, to put this armor on a hundred percent. You know, because mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai is gonna guide us through these troubling times. We we gonna make it out of here. You gotta believe that. You know, we ain't in this truth to um, be thinking we're gonna be destroyed. Right. We in this truth to know that we going to make it out of here. Just continue on that right path, which is what? Uh, walking in the spirit, having this armor on and rebuking Satan. That's right. You know, so with that, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Shalom. Shalom.